This is an example of setting up or editing a button in Talk Tablet, starting from a completely empty user. So this is a blank user to start with. It's a 4x4 grid by default when it starts, but you can create uh, any grid layout you want. Every page can have its own layout. They don't all have to be the same. If I want to change this layout, I hit Edit in the top right-hand corner. I hit Page in the top left-hand corner here, so I'm editing the page. And here is my rows and columns, and margin is the space between the buttons. I have a 4x4. If I wanted to change that to something else, I could change it. Now I've changed it to a 5x5. I can set the color of the background and a number of things. I hit Done. And you can see now I have my first button in a 5x5. Five five. To modify that button, I just touch it. The little green plus sign in the top right-hand corner. I can make that a button or a page. Difference is a button does something like it says something or speaks something. New page will create a button that opens to a new page of buttons. So you might want to create a button, a page button called greetings, and then when you touch it, it opens up a whole page of different greetings. I just want this button to say alligator and have an alligator picture on it. Real simple. So I choose new button under label, which is what will appear on the button. I'm going to type in here alligator. And if I start typing it incorrectly, watch what happens. It comes up with um, word prediction to correct my, my typing. And I choose, just hit the return key and it'll correct it for you automatically. The text to speak is what will be said when I touch on the button. The label is what appears on the button. What is spoken when you touch the button doesn't have to be the same thing. But in this case, I'll keep it simple. I'll just put alligator. I can record audio if I want but I'm just going to have it speak using the speed synthesizer. Select symbol. I touch here. I can choose one of 12,000 symbols if I want. I can choose a picture that's on my iPad in my photo album, any picture, family, friends, boating, whatever you want. Or I can take a photograph using the camera that's built into the iPad. So I'll choose select a symbol. There are 12,000 symbols built into the software. If I know a word that I'm looking for, I just touch this box at the top here and I start typing the word that I want. The word I want is right there, but I'm not going to I'm going to ignore that for now. I just start typing the word that I want, alligator, and it instantly narrows down to the words that begin with those letters. So I'll hit alligator. I have a symbol, I have a label, I have the text to speak. I hit done. Do I want to quit editing or I want to add another button? I just touch here, but I'm going to quit editing. I'll press done. And when I touch it, alligator. It's that simple. Alligator. If I touch anywhere all across the sentence bar. Alligator, alligator. If it starts speaking and I want it to stop the message bar, I just touch it again. Alligator. That's how I stop it. Okay, so we created a button. If I decide, hmm, I like it, but a border is not very, th you know, it's not very thick. It's really thin and it's blue. It'd be neater if it was a little thicker maybe and green. Yeah, green. So I hit edit. When I go into edit mode, the buttons that I have will appear with a black X in the left corner, meaning I could delete that button. If I wanted to create a new button, I touch this one, and I can move them around later if I wanted to. So I hit edit, and I'm going to edit this button, so I just touch it. And I don't really like the size of that font. I wish it was a little bit smaller. And I wish the border color was not blue. I wish it was green, more alligatorish, and the border width is two, and I'd like it to be a little bigger. I'll make it four. Come up here, I touch done. There it is. I hit done again. Now when I touch alligator, alligator. So the box doesn't appear, the, the frame or the, uh, the, or the border doesn't appear in the, in the message bar. Okay, so I created a button. Now I want to create a button that opens a page of choices. So I'd like a button here that just says animals. So I hit edit. I touch on this button. I choose new page because this button is going to open up a new page of buttons. So I'm going to choose new page. And I'll call this animals. And do I want to speak the label when I go into it? Mm, no. Uh, rows and columns, this new page, there's a lot of animals I like out there. So I'll choose 7 by 7 
and I'll give it a margin of 10. And for symbol, I will select symbol and I'll find here animals. I'll use that one for animals. And let's designate that anytime I have a button that opens up to a, another page, those will be red. I'll have a red border and I'll make it a little thicker too. Yeah, six. And done. So I have a button now that says animals. And when I touch on it, there is my new page. I can start adding my animals to it. And I just, by hitting edit, and hit the plus sign, new button, I'll say dog. And I'll put dog in here for text to speak. And under symbol, I'll choose my symbol. I touch up here and I, I'll start typing dog. Ooh, lots of dogs to choose from. I like that guy. Done, done. Okay, so I've got, let me hit the back button. So here's animals, and I've got a dog there. If I wanted to, I could have animals and then have a page that says dogs and have that open up another page. I just realized that button is really small. Hmm. In fact, let's make it much bigger. Edit, page, and let's make these things three by three by three or two by three. Four rows, three columns. That'll work. Done, done. Nice big button. And here's back.